Uh, let's talk to Dr. Dor Gold, president of the think tank, the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs, former advisor to the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. A warm welcome to you. I'd imagine this is what you'd been hoping for. Well, I think now that I think President Trump has done exactly what was needed to be done. And, you know, he zeroed in on three central flaws with the Iran agreement that will have to be fixed in any future agreement. Number one, he talked about the sunset clause, this notion that an arms control agreement just sort of fades away after a number of years, whether it's 10 years or 13 years. You can't have agreements of that sort. That's like saying an arms control agreement is a carton of milk with an expiration date at the top. Second of all, he pointed out a flaw that everybody notices and everybody talks about and no one does anything about. I was a, Israel's UN ambassador in the 1990s and I saw how the United Nations dealt with the weapons of mass destruction of Iraq, of Saddam Hussein. And one thing the UN did is it included in weapons of mass destruction not just nuclear, not just chemical, but also the ballistic missile forces of Iraq. Well, the ballistic missiles were kept out of the Iran agreement. That has to be corrected. And finally, the verification. It's no big deal to have verification in declared sites. The Iranians say, here, you can look at these sites, but undeclared sites, military sites, you have no access to. So it's clear that the Iranians are going to put all their illicit uh, weapons development in the undeclared sites. By the way, that's what they did in the past okay. in the Tants right. these are the and flaws. all their sites. Sorry so to interrupt. We don't have a lot of time. Flaws. You see all these flaws in this agreement. What is your solution if this isn't? Well, historically at arms control, I want to point this out. You can take a bad agreement and turn it into a good agreement. You know, there was something called the SALT II Treaty under President Carter. It was such a failure that they didn't even give it to the U.S. Senate for ratification because they knew it wouldn't pass the U.S. Senate. So what happened instead? Instead, a new set of treaties called START were negotiated by President Reagan, which created stability between the superpowers and brought about a real detente. That's what you have to do now. Dr. Gold, I mean, I'm looking at the immediate results of, of the announcement from the White House. We've already heard from the Iranian president, Hassan Rouhani. He has told Iran's nuclear agency to prepare to resume enrichment on an industrial scale. Hasn't this been entirely counterproductive? I don't believe so, because the Iran agreement, even with all its flaws, So it's was better based that Iran is now Iranian saying it interests. might go ahead with uranium enrichment. Well, you know, that's their choice. But they were also moved by real interests just a few years ago to agree to the Iran agreement. And I think those interests are still there. But they're up against a real tough American negotiator who wants to protect the interests of the United States and the interests of American allies, whether they're in the Gulf or they're in the Mediterranean. And I think that's critical. We cannot have a shoddy piece of negotiation, which the Iranians are violating and which will inevitably lead to a massive Iranian nuclear arsenal. Dr. The, Gold, the kind of agreement that I think President, President Trump wants will not do that. As a result of this announcement, does Israel feel safer now? Well, I think when we look at the long term, we can be certain that by the year 2030, we will not be facing an Iran with a massive nuclear arsenal. Right now, they can build all the missiles they want, and at the end of the agreement, when the Sunset Clause pick, uh, kicks in, they can start enriching uranium in massive quantities. You will be facing a new Soviet Union, like you had in the Cold War, but it'll be a Shiite fundamentalist state. Dr. Gold, that I'm is afraid. dangerous, not just for Israel, for the world. We are out of time. Thank you very much, Dr. Dorgold, uh, joining us from Jerusalem.